Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. We are going to do a morning activation like every morning uh, that we train. Uh, I would like to do some multis uh, this afternoon. So um, we're going to go for that. Multis on rings, of course. I don't have many visualization, but I do admit that I visualized that this morning. So maybe tonight I'll visualize something else. Uh, I just posted right now. So two days ago, uh, the last vlog where I unlocked my Pelican on rings. So very cool, very, very cool. Uh, let's see, let's see what today have to, to give us. Huh? I'm excited. Every day is a new chance to be strong. So that's always exciting. So let's see how do we feel this morning. Even if I feel bad, I will train. It's not. Uh, it's important the way that we feel, but it's always good to know. Okay, a bit, uh, a bit heavy, a bit difficult, but I guess it's normal. Yesterday I did not train at all, so the first press will be a little hard. Maybe not hard, but. Uh, a little challenging, let's see. Okay. Very good. Well, I think you know the drill. Let's put some music and start doing something a little more intense. Let's go. <laughs> to be it for uh, this morning I think I don't need to go too hard my shoulder is already feeling a little uh, pumped right so I decided to do more uh, counter elastic than uh, ankle weights don't ask me why I felt it like that I was like yeah why not let's try um, two sets of each two sets of front lever two sets of planche don't need to do more don't feel like it's relevant I don't want to push myself too much uh, I feel correct. I mean, like I feel uh, pretty um, awake. I can use my my arms the way I want. I can feel my shoulders, my back, my head, my legs, etc. Everything feels smooth. Um, so that's cool. That's very cool. We're going to eat now. I think we have fruits remaining. Uh, people ask me why I eat so less. I do not eat uh, nothing. Huh? I try to eat an apple, a banana, an orange, a kiwi, two eggs and rice cakes and you'll see uh, how uh, how you feel after man like fruits is um, it's hard to eat, a, to eat a lot of fruits I don't know how to explain I, I read an article about this like uh, it's hard to eat two apples in a row because of brain information whatever I don't I'm not a scientist and I don't care but why do I eat that it's because uh, it makes me feel light uh, for when I will train if I eat uh, 12 kg of pasta and eggs uh, I don't think my body will be able to digest it fast enough for me to feel good for my training, right? Uh, so that's why, but then after my training, I eat a lot. I eat like a lot of rice, a lot of eggs, a lot of meat, 
a lot of uh, yeah heavy stuff right but it's for night so but I said that already many times yesterday I watched a very cool movie I'm changing the topic uh, I watched um, Annihilation right well maybe you know it it's a pretty cool movie like it was a bit long and a bit uh, like the movie is trying to do a lot of stuff like there's some body horror there is some thriller there is some sci-fi and stuff and it's trying to mix up everything it's not doing it very well but it was entertaining I mean pretty cute um, so yeah we're going to eat something we'll play to the students maybe and uh, and that will be it let's go as I said and I'll say it again uh, I'm doing this channel in order to document my uh, journey in calisthenics statics uh, and I think we can see that if you go back uh, in time two months ago uh, my trainings don't look like the trainings I'm having right now. So there is modification, there is uh, evolution even. There is uh, something happening, right? So I advise you to go check vlogs of two, three months ago and, and see what changed. And, and yeah, it's interesting, it's cool, I like it. I like to see that I am not getting stuck and doing always the same thing. Of course, there is stuff that are always the same, like uh, a planche is a planche, a front lever is a front lever, but you don't have to, to always make it the same on the same support and everything, right? You can, uh, like I got bored of doing parallels, now I'm doing some rings. When I'll be bored of rings, I'll do something else. When I'll be bored of the something else, I'll do again something else, right? Evolution, guys, don't stay stuck in in life or in, in sports, right? Do something that makes you happy, that makes you feel something. If you don't feel anything when you do something, maybe it's not, uh, maybe it's not the, the right thing you choose to do in life, right? And same for calisthenics as a whole. If one day you realize that calisthenics does not make you happy and like you were not doing it for competition purpose or like, uh, like uh, living out of it, don't hurt yourself, guys. Do something else, right? It's not that deep. A little bit nae -nae. Look at that, look at that. Wonderful. It's wonderful what I'm doing right now. Wow. I don't have many fruits. I just have a banana and an orange, so... Yeah. Whatever. Don't stay stuck in what you're doing. Have fun, guys. And don't be afraid of changements and uh, modification in your life and your training. Because that's what maybe is going to make you evolve, most likely even. Okay, we already inco incorporated the, the eggs. A lot of people judge me for that. Like, it's weird. Try it, guys. It's, it's not that deep. Eggs and banana is uh, it's like banana bread. You never ate a banana bread. It's like, del it's delicious. Like, it's, it's wonderful. It's the same. It's just scrambled eggs and banana. And like, I put some honey on top, some peanut butter. It's uh, like there is people that eat worms, right? There is people that eat freaking, uh, I don't know, Fruit Loops, right? Me, I'm eating something healthy and shit. So try it. Maybe you'll like it. Oh, I'm very excited for tonight, guys. I really want to see a good Maltese with good force. And if I can even press it to reverse cross and shit. Wow. Exciting. That is pumping me out right now. I'm like, damn. I want to do it, right? In my little setup with my new equipment and shit. <sighs> oh, that's cool, guys. That's cool. Let's go. Let's go eat. I will leave for the gym in something like uh, an hour or something. So I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm going to take some vitamin. I'm going to eat a kiwi and drink some water. Um, so, I visualized Van Gelder today. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'll try to make it happen. But, uh, yeah, why not? It's been a while I did not try to do Van Gelder. I do think I still have it. It's not, uh, it's not a difficult uh, movement when you're at my uh, level. The problem is that it's a pretty high energy movement, which means that after doing it, I'll be most likely very cooked, right? I'll be tired. So I don't have many tries, see mm -hmm. what I mean? I have maybe three tries maximum to make it happen correctly, the way I want, two, even three is a lot. 
So yeah, we will see how it goes. The days are long, huh? yeah. When the goal is to save as much energy possible for your training, you try to make everything in a way that uh, it, it, it will not impact your training. Even going out on a walk, when it's cold outside and stuff, you need to pack, you need to, it's going to make you lose energy for your training, for sure. So the optimization when you arrive at a certain level asks uh, for a certain number of sacrifice, right? I'm not saying I'm very high level. I'm not saying that I'm sacrificing everything to be at my level, just that it's choices that you need to make, right? Whatever it takes to, to reach the goals. Mm. But yeah, certainly um, not the easiest uh, choices. Because mm. you can be like, oh, but you're not doing everything all day. You're just laying, um, checking uh, videos, replying to people, uh, just um, texting uh, on your computer and stuff. But I want to do stuff. I want to go out. I want to. I want to do stuff, right? I don't want to be stuck at home doing nothing in order for my training to be um, the best training possible, right? I want to do other things. But for the sake of my um, career and for my training, I'm trying to not. Um, I'm trying to not uh, waste my potential, right? But yeah, that's not uh, that's not very easy. Whatever, that's the life choice we, we we've done. I said it already a couple of times, but since there is uh, each time more and more people that are joining the channel and watching the videos and stuff, I have to repeat that. But you cannot control how your training will go. Uh, you can feel as good as you want, and your training can be ultra ultra bad, or you can arrive to the gym and feel like shit, and you realize that you're very very strong. Uh, during the training. So you cannot decide how the training is going to happen. And, um, and that's why it's so frustrating is that even though I'm sacrificing my day, my full day, I'm trying to be as low energy consuming possible. I'll arrive to the gym. And if it have to be a bad day, it will be a bad day. And it's kind of tiring for the mind to tell yourself when you have a bad day, oh, okay, my body don't want. It's fine, I'll work on more technique, I'll work on, on something else. There's always something to do, even if it's a bad day, right? Balance, uh, trajectory work, etc. I'll do a video on trajectory because I'm always talking about trajectory and how important it is, but I realize that nobody understands what trajectory is. So I'll have to speak about it. But yeah, I don't think it's an easy sport. I don't think uh, everyone is having fun. I don't think it's uh, only uh, happiness and, uh, and stuff. Uh, it is not, it's uh, difficult. Otherwise, everyone would do it. And people that think, that's why it's so horrible for me to see people that are very mediocre be like, oh, I'm so strong. No, man, you're not doing half of the things I do to get to my level, man. You are not strong. And I'm not doing half of the things that other people do to get even higher levels, right? So I am not strong, but I'm not saying I'm strong. So why do you allow yourself to say stuff like that? What do you, I don't know. Anyway, I needed to, to, to say those things. We're going to take a shower. We're going to, yeah, warm up in the shower a little. <laughs> trying to massage the biceps and trying to visualize a little the, the movement that we want to do. Maltese for sure, Maltese press maybe, and, uh, and Van Gelder maybe also. We'll see, let's drink some water and we will be good to go. Stay hydrated, guys. Fruits, water, stuff that keeps your skin elastic and your joints and your muscle flexible, right? Because uh, if you're not flexible and your skin and muscle are tight, then it breaks. That's not what we want, okay? 
So I catch you uh, after the shower and everything. And uh, yeah, we're going to the gym and stuff. Let's go. Let's uh, let's get going. Okay, I'm already. I have the freaking ten thousand kg backpack. Uh, I'm ready to to freaking go, guys. I hope the training will go well. I'm excited. I really want it to go well. So I'll do everything in my soul. I'll use everything in my uh, guts to make this training go the way I want. Let's see you at the gym, guys. Okay, there we are at the gym. Let's get going. So I'm, I'm, I'm staying here because since the goal is again to do some rings today, we're going to stay close to the small rings. So that's why I'm in, in this area. But maybe at some point I'll go back over there. It's maybe more spacious and I'm less scared to hit the, the ceiling with my feet when I'm on the high bar. Anyway, enough talking. Let's see, uh, let's see a little planche press already. Okay, I see, I see. Some pain in the joints, but since I'm from outside, maybe it's because they're a bit cold, so I'm not too worried. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. All good. So, let's. So, you see, according to the feelings I have during the first uh, tries, I'm going to do some movement like planche press and stuff. And I'm going to see what my body needs today. So, my uh, warm up will adapt to how I feel before my uh, training. See what I mean? So, my warm up should be specific to how I feel before my session, but also very specific to my goals, right? I should warm up uh, in the trajectories and the muscles and the joints and everything that are related to the movements that I'm going to train in my session, right? We don't really care about warming up uh, my calves, right? Or my legs in general. If my goal is to do a uh, Van Gelder or something like that. But it's always good to have a good uh, leg extension, etc. But you don't need to warm them up. Maybe some stretchings, but is it really relevant? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm more and more thinking about doing uh, like tutorials for you guys. Even though I hate it because it's not my job to do tutorials, guys. Uh, you, if you, if you, you just need to go on Google and write uh, how to planch, how to do this stuff, and you find 10,000 tutorials that are all kind of relevant, then you pick and choose and you, 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 try, what, you try what people say and you, you, you check what works on you and what don't. And that's how you will know what works on your body and, and what does not. And also, especially if I already done this kind of tutorials, on Daniel Flayfield channel. Whatever. Wow, I have a, a lot of things to say today. Can you believe that? <sighs> okay, that's enough. Let's do some elastic band uh, push ups, I think. Okay, now I should be a little more inclined to not feel pain in my presses. So I'm going to do maybe something like that so we can see the line a bit better. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's see, maybe two good, two good presses would be cool. Okay, cool. Well, that went uh, pretty good, pretty fast even, if I can say. Let's see some pull-ups or some pulls, I don't know, something like that. Let's see. Sure, why not? Just need to be careful to not hurt myself too much. Oh, there's a string in my back that pulls a little. Okay. 
Very good. Okay. Well, let's do some sets of uh, multis and stuff with the heavy elastic band to see. Let's do some bicep shoulder stuff just to make sure that we're warm. It's okay if I burn a little energy just for that. It's not a, a big deal or not too much of a big deal at least. Okay. So you see, my activation is not the same. Since I know that I'm doing this in order to train for rings, I'm trying to push the bars against each other, like to do this motion. I, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I try to bring my two hands together, at least in the intention, because I know it's going to be useful for, for the rings, right? If I was just going to do some parallels, I would not do that because it's useless. It's an intention that you don't need to have when you're doing parallel to P. The intention that you need to have is up, up. You, there is no uh, pushing uh, on the sides, right? Good, very cool. Let's see, I will play this one, I guess. Okay. Okay, very cool. Well, I guess we can start to do some rings now. <laughs> okay, first bang gather with very, very heavy band, and then a little reverse cross. Felt pretty decent, no major. This shoulder feel a bit weird, but I think when I'll do one real Van Gelder, it will calm down. So, no, for now I'm pretty confident. I need to like, um, make myself believe that it is going to be easy, it's just going to happen like that. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Okay, I can say normally that my warm-up is over. I'm, I don't know if I should add an extra step or not. Normally it should be fine. Uh, I'm going to do one try that I know is not going to be the best, but I'll try to, to go for it. And normally the second one will be better and the third one, if I have the energy for it, will be even better. But uh, since it's a high energy uh, movement, like I already said, uh, let's try to not fail the first tries, okay? If you want to give me some strengths, you know what to do, leave a comment and leave some likes. Well, believe it or not, but I do think that uh, Van Gelder is easier than Pelican, or at least for me, for some reason. Maybe it's because I have very short arms or something like that, but the Pelican is harder than uh, Van Gelder. That was a good, good try, actually. I'm going to do one better in uh, maybe five, six minutes. That was the second try. It was maybe a little less uh, explosive than the first try. But I'm still happy with it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a third try though, because it's very, very intense. Maybe, maybe I'll try, but uh, whatever. That's it for today with the Van Gelder tries. Uh, we're going to do something else now, maybe uh, multi presses or planche presses to reverse. 
Um, right now I'm going to do a pull set because I think my shoulder needed it right now. Uh, I'm very happy about the session. It's, uh, I'm so happy, man. It's like a, it's a good fucking session. Yes. Let's say that the, song, the, the little cross and butterfly were just to keep it uh, there, the nervous there. Now with my friend Kaloy and we're going to do some multis, I guess, some planches with elastic bands. Very heavy elastic band, just for the nervous. I think we've been intense enough like that today. And that's about it. Yes, very good. Push! Very good. to keep the full grip on. Yes. I need to feel that you're pushing with your shoulder. I don't know how to explain. It's like. I'm going to finish the workout with some reverse cross holds and reverse cross uh, pulls, and that will be it. And maybe some bicep curls. I don't know, something like that, but it's already late, so maybe that just will be it. Well, that's it for today's training. I think that's enough. Um, but it's not the end of the vlog yet. I'm going to take you home and show you what I'm going to eat tonight. <sighs> because a lot of people ask me what uh, I was eating, so I guess it interests you a little. So I'll show you.
Okay, so just to sum up a little, can the light activate? Maybe, yes, no, yes. So just to sum up, uh, these two last trainings were wonderful. I tried my two favorite skills and uh, they both uh, worked very good. So I'm very proud of myself, I'm very happy. It's only the beginning, of course, but uh, it's a good beginning for sure. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue. I think the next session, if I'm able to, I'll try to do Azrian planche because it's been a very, very long while I did not try. And uh, yeah, we'll experiment all of that. It's going to be fun. Let's eat now. I'm so hungry, guys. Whew. So as a post-workout, I took a little orange juice thing and I took a chocolate bar. It was a um, tobler and if you know, I don't know if there is a, hey, it's known normally. So yeah, uh, for like, if I am kind of hungry tonight, I have this little guy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's see what we have to eat tonight. So that's what I will eat. Some rice, some chicken, potato, carrots, curry and stuff. I don't really know how many calories that is, but not much. And it's very, very good, right? So. Thank you for watching the video. It's a bit dark for an outro, but uh, I wanted to show you what I ate since so many people asked me. Take care of you guys. Love you. And uh, if you want to support me, as, a, as always, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, and subscribe if it's not already done. See you.